Hi, I'm Mike Martin, host of More Sports Saturday here at Star 102.5. The Pinecrest baseball team beat Richmond Senior 11-1 in five innings Thursday in Southern Pines to take the 2011 Southeastern 4A Tournament Championship. Bailey Rush, Evan Guy, and Joey Vecchione each had home runs, and Dylan Maples gave up one hit and struck out eight as the Patriots beat the Raiders for the third time this season. The win was the second straight conference tournament title for Pinecrest. On Tuesday, the Patriots beat Lumberton 14-4 in five innings in the tournament semifinals. Pinecrest is 23-2 and two on the season and will host the number 5 seed from the Greater News Conference in the first round of the state 4A baseball tournament May 13th at 7 p.m. Union Pines' regular season finale with Douglas Bird on Friday was postponed until Monday because of rain. The Vikings are 17-6 and six overall and tied for first in the Cape Fear Valley 3A Conference. On the pitch, the Pinecrest soccer team won its 15th straight conference tournament championship Thursday with an 8-2 win over Lumberton and Southern Pines. Jazz Jones had a pair of goals to lead the Lady Patriots. On Tuesday, Pinecrest crushed Scotland County 10-0 in the tournament semifinals. Lady Patriots are 15-6-3 overall and host a first-round state playoff game Tuesday night at 7 p.m. The Union Pines women's soccer team won the Cape Fear Valley 3A conference championship Wednesday with an 11-2 win over Douglas Bird and Fayetteville. Hannah Kaiser and Carla Lively had hat tricks for the Lady Vikings. Vikings. On Thursday, Union Pines beat Southern Lee 6-0 behind Matty Kramer's hat trick. Union Pines coach Jeremy Blake praised his young Viking squad for winning 19 straight games, especially considering how young this Union Pines team is. We, we're real impressed. Uh, graduating 12 seniors, 8 starters. Um, you know, we didn't know what to expect, and the girls have come together quite well. You know, we were undefeated in the conference, and uh, we lost our first game of the season. Otherwise, you know, they've come together quite well. We start two seniors, and everybody else is underclassmen. We have two starting freshmen, um, two juniors that start, and the rest are sophomores. So, um, you know, we're real young. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot to look forward to in the future. Make way now for state playoffs. What do you think your team's going to see? Probably going to see uh, Northern Nash out of uh, Rocky Mount area for the first round. And most likely probably Western Alamance if we get through the first round. And, you know, from there it gets harder and harder because you start pulling all the Raleigh teams. So uh, it'll be a challenge for us. Good luck to you, Coach. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Union Pines is 19-1 and and hosts Northern Nash Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the first round of the state soccer tournament. On the links, the Pinecrest golf team won the 4A East Region match May 2nd at Pinehurst No. 6. The Patriots' Nick Thompson was the medalist with a 69. The win was the fifth regional title in the row for Pinecrest. On Wednesday, the Patriots beat Union Pines in a match play event at National Golf Club. Pinecrest will compete in the state 4A golf match Monday and Tuesday at Pinehurst No. 6. On the diamond, the Pinecrest softball team beat Jordan Matthews Monday, then lost conference games to Lumberton and Scotland County on Wednesday and Thursday. The Lady Patriots open conference tournament play Monday at Richmond Senior in Rockingham. On the court, Greenhope beat the Pinecrest men's tennis team 6-0 in the first round of the state 4A dual tennis tournament Tuesday in Cary. And on Friday, five Patriots competed in the individual regional tournament at Fedville Terry Sanford. Pinecrest had a singles and two doubles teams in the tournament. For the latest news and information on Pinecrest and Union Pine Sports, or to see what games we'll be broadcasting live, be sure to follow us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash more sports radio. I'm Mike Martin. Join me every Saturday at 9 a.m. and noon for more Sports Saturday here on Star 102.5. If it's sports you want, we've got it covered. MoresportsRadio.com.